Shalom, Israel. Shalom, Shalom. This is Brother Yishmael with WFI Atlanta coming back with another video. First and foremost, giving all praise, all honor, and all glory unto our magnificent Heavenly Father, Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten Son, who the world calls Jesus Christ. We know Him as Hamashiach Yahweh, the Lord and Savior to the nation of Israel. I want to bid a strong Shalom to the saints according to the Bible, God's chosen people the Israelites, the so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans that are keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High, as well as the faith of, again, our Lord and Savior, Hamashiach Yahweh Lord willing, brothers and sisters are continuing to endure, keeping the commandments to the best of their abilities. You praying, fasting, repenting, studying, being diligent, building up the ministry, making your body a living sacrifice, and right? doing all that you can in these last days to make your calling and election short. Right, we're gonna jump into another video. Right, Lord willing through the spirit it can be edifying, right? But we're gonna jump into another video, and I believe I'm gonna title this video Just How Important Is the Law? Right? Just how important is the law? You got a lot of uh individuals that are just now coming into the truth. You know, uh maybe in times past you were led to believe that you didn't have to keep any commandments. You were led to believe that you could lead a, a sinless life, right? You probably believe that the most high you know and uh who the world calls jesus christ will accept you uh just as you are right but according to the bible it's not so right according to the bible right let's get this quick precept all right let's go to proverbs the third chapter let's get this precept real quick the lord said trust uh this proverbs three and five trust in the lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding, right? And this is probably a verse that we've all heard before, right? But we have to take this, consider it, and hold it close to our hearts, right? You believe in that you don't have to keep the commandments of the Most High. You don't have to abide by the rules and regulations of the Heavenly Father, right? That's you leaning unto your own understanding, right? That's you uh, making excuse for your will, right? And you may, you may think you're right in that. Right. And for the uh, for all the individuals that believe that they're correct. Right. In their own understanding, the Lord said this. Let's go to this in Proverbs chapter 14. All right. This Proverbs 14 and verse number 12. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man. But the end thereof are the ways of death. You see that? So the Lord told you plainly. You know, you got a lot of people that are convinced fully, right, fully persuaded that they can continue in sin, right? And sin is simply the transgression of the law, uh, uh, subscribing to First uh, John chapter 3 and verse 4, right? Sin is the transgression of the law. And if you read Romans chapter 6 and verse 23, the wages of sin are the ways of death. So the Lord told you plainly, Proverbs 14 and 12, that there is a way which seemeth right unto a man. You may think... Uh, based upon your own understanding that, uh, you know, you can live how you want to live. You know, you can live as, you know, the, the only live once spirit. You know, do as thou wilt. Hey, but the Lord said for all those individuals that have that mindset, right, the end thereof are the ways of death. Right, you're going to end up leading yourself into a deep ditch. Right, so again, just how important is the law. Right, we have to emphasize this. Especially in the last days, because the Lord said, let's go to the book of Matthew, the 24th chapter. All right. Let's go to Matthew, chapter 24. All right, Salakia. Let's go to Matthew, chapter 24. Get this quick precept. All right. It's Matthew 24 and verse 12. And because iniquity shall abound now iniquity that is sin wickedness right idolatry adultery all things that are against god's commandments the lord said that we you know as we continue uh to to get closer and closer to the second coming of our lord and savior as the times continue to wax old iniquity was going to abound meaning iniquity is going to grow upon the face of the earth Sin is going to rise and increase to levels and heights that we've never seen before. 
So we have to keep this in mind, brothers and sisters, right? When we come into the truth and the, uh, the true understanding of the Bible, right? Eating of the wisdom, the honey, the bread, the milk. You got to be able to understand just how important the law is, especially if you uh, plan on being like your Lord and Savior, Hamashiach Yahushai, especially if you plan on fulfilling his uh, his uh, footsteps, walking in his shoes. Right. Let's go to um, first Peter. All right. Chapter two. Go to first Peter, chapter two. Hey, in the Bible, the Blue Letter Bible uh, website, it'll tell you plainly, Christ is our example. And what's the what's the purpose of an example? Right. To show you the way to teach you, to guide you. That's the purpose of an example. So let's read this. This is first Peter chapter uh, two and verse number 21. For even here unto were ye called because Hamashiach also suffered for us, leaving us an example of. That ye should follow his steps. So we're commanded to follow in the steps of our Lord and Savior, Hamashiach, Yahushua. Right? And what, what are some of the attributes and characteristics that went into Hamashiach, Yahushua, that made him so set apart? Right? That made him so special. That made him so, so anointed to be able to come forth unto the nation of Israel as a, as a, a lamb without spot and without blemish. To be able to do the things that he did with the power that was given unto him from the heavenly father. All right? Let's let's read. Verse number 22. Who did no sin? You see that? Who did no sin? Neither was guile found in his mouth. So that's just how important Hamashiach Yahweh is, man. All right? This is the example set by our Lord and Savior. That we should follow in his steps. Hamashiach Yahushai did no sin. So guess what? As servants, as disciples of our Lord, we should be striving also to do no sin. And as we said earlier, we're not gonna uh we're not gonna quote it, right? Because you got a lot of brothers and sisters that are just coming into this thing. We're gonna go to it. Let's go to first John chapter three and verse four. This is what sin is according to the Bible. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. So simply, you know, when you sin, you're breaking the law. And we just read that Hamashiach Yahushai left us an example that ye should follow his steps. Who did no sin. So Hamashiach Yahushai, he kept the commandments. Hamashiach Yahushai, he followed after the statues. Right? He declared the law. He judged righteously. That's what Hamashiach Yahushai did. Right? Hamashiach, he wore fringes. He kept the Sabbath day holy. All right? So for brothers and sisters that truly uh, claim to be followers of Christ, right? following in the, uh, the Lord's footsteps, you must strive also to do no sin. So by default, you must be able to keep the commandments, man. You must be able uh, to uh, to follow in the ways of righteousness. You know, iniquity is abounding in these last days. Sin is prevalent. And with our Lord and Savior being, you know, the blueprint to all this, you know, we got to be able to understand just how important the law, statutes and commandments are. Now, the law, statutes and commandments are majority found within the first five books of the Bible. All right, however, let's go to the book of Baruch. Let's go to Baruch, chapter 4, right, within the Apocrypha. All right. I want to get the book of Baruch. Bear with me. Let's go to the book of Baruch. All right, this is the book of Baruch. Chapter 4 and verse number 1. This is the book of the commandments of God and the law that endureth forever. All they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. Right? Now, the point that I want to emphasize is the fact that the Lord said this is the book of the commandments of God. So, you got to get the understanding through the volume of the book. 
As the Lord said in the book of Matthew chapter 4 and verse 4, you have to read through the entire Bible and keep the commandments of God. Right? And the law that endureth forever. So again, you got individuals that believe that the law has been done away with. You have individuals that believe that you do not have to keep the law in these last days, which is blasphemy. You must keep the law, statutes, and commandments. You must stress and emphasize the importance of the law in, in the first place. Because the Lord said, all they that keep it shall come to life. But such as leave it, you see that, shall die. Now, I'm sure a lot of brothers and sisters, man, they, they you know, enjoy living. I'm sure a lot of brothers and sisters want to wanna live to see the day that Hamashiach Yahweh cracks the sky open. I'm sure a lot of brothers and sisters want to be beamed up into the chariots, brought back into their homeland, receive the law, statutes, and commandments within their inward parts, right, and live for eternity in a land, in a world where there is nothing but peace, tranquility, right, and serenity. I'm sure individuals want to be able to uh, partake in such a blessing, you know, to receive the kingdom of heaven, but it's only going to come if... You are keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. Right? You must understand that. Let's go to the book of Sirach. Let's get another precept. Right? This is a friendly reminder to brothers and sisters in, in, in Christ, man. Right? This is Sirach chapter uh, 39 or Ecclesiasticus. Right? Ecclesiasticus chapter 39 and verse number 1. But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High is occupied, right, Salakia, and is occupied in the meditation thereof, will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in prophecies. You see that? So, brothers and sisters, we have to meditate in the law. We have to constantly read the law. We got to constantly enforce the law. Hamashiach Yahushua kept the law, statutes, and commandments, right? So why shouldn't we, or why should we think that we don't have to keep the law, statutes, and commandments, right? The Lord said, he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High is occupied in the meditation thereof. And guess what? You're going to seek out the wisdom of all the ancient. You're going to constantly read. You're going to constantly pray. You're going to constantly study. You're going to constantly reprove yourself for your actions that you do on a daily basis. Why? Because you're going to be examining the examples and all the things which are written within the scriptures for your learning sake. So that you can grow through the spirit to understand how you should be living here upon this earth. Right? Remember, man, hey, we live by the most just laws. All right, let's get that in um, additions to Esther. All right, let's get that in addition to Esther real quick. All right, it's like it. I want the 16th chapter. Bear with me. All right, let's get this real quick. All right, this is the additions of Esther. Chapter 16, and I'll start at verse number 15. But we find that the Jews whom this wicked wretch have delivered to utter destruction are no evildoers. So if you live by the law, statutes, and commandments, you would not be considered an evildoer, man. Huh? Why? Because we, uh, as the scripture says, as we're about to read, but live by the most just laws you see that the lord said that we are living by the most just law so why would we despise that why would we turn our shoulder on the law statutes and commandments again we must emphasize how important the law statutes and commandments are man All right verse 16 and that they be the children of the most high and most mighty the living God who hath ordered the kingdom both unto us 
and to our uh, progenitors in the most excellent manner. Right. So the emphasis is here. We live by the most just laws. And brothers and sisters out in the world, man, they despise the most just laws. They rather live by the laws of, uh, of America. They, they rather partake in the rules and regulations of other nations in which they dwell. When we have laws, statutes, and commandments given unto us from the creator of all things. Right? So we can't despise the law. The law was set up for us. Right? The law was set up for uh for the man, you know, that was wicked. Let's get this last precept. Alright, let's go to first Timothy. It's first Timothy, right? Chapter one and verse nine. Knowing this, that the law is not made for a righteous man. Now, righteousness, according to the Bible, is when you are keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. Indeed, it's already within you. You're already doing it. The Lord is telling you that the law is not made for a righteous man, but for the lawless. You see that? And disobedient. So for the brothers and sisters, man, that don't know what's going on. The law is supposed to guide you. The law is supposed to show you how you're supposed to be living. Because at one point in time, you were lawless. At one point in time, you were clueless, disobedient. You didn't know what was going on. Right? The law was created for you to set you back on track. Right? To bring your mind closer unto the most high. Alright? Let's read on. It says, For the ungodly and for sinners... For unholy and profane, for murderers of fathers and murderers of mothers, for manslayers, for whoremongers, for them that defile themselves with mankind, for men stealers, for liars, for perjured uh, persons, and if there be any other thing that is contrary to sound doctrine. So the law was made for all the individuals that break God's law, statutes, and commandments. And as, you know, simple. And the cliche as that sounds, that's what it is. Right? So the law was made for us. We're that wicked and perverse generation that needs to be brought back unto the Lord. Right? We're the ones born into sin. We're the ones that are so far gone. We are of the valley of the, uh, the dry bones, man. That was us at one point in time. And through the mercy and grace of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, he started to bring our minds back through what? The law. Right? And we have to always remember that. Right? Let's read verse 8. It says, But we know that the law is good if a man use it lawfully. You see that? The law is good, man. Huh? The law is not something to be despised. The law is not something to be frowned upon. Right? We must set up and establish the law. Right? And that's very important to remember in these last days. Right? So again, just a friendly reminder to brothers and sisters, and maybe some edification to those which are new to the faith, we must keep and obtain, right? Or uphold, I should say, Salakia, the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High God. Right, but with that, I want to sign out, of course, again, giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh by Shimi Awashai. Kwam Yasha Allah, rise Israel, rise. Right? And Shalom.